Hi everybody, we have a signing. Can you believe it? Our first official signing of 2020, kind of, for the new season. Uh, the reason why is uh, obviously we've signed Gillespie, who has uh, been doing a bit of singing lately. As if, if you would have seen our Twitter, he quoted, uh, tweeted us about his singing, which is always good. Um, but yes, uh, back on the subject, uh, Jeff Hendrick will read out a few statements in a second. But um, you would have seen the video that I've done the other day. Um, well, I filmed it an hour ago, but I'm in the same clothes as the other day. That's why. Um, taking a look at what kind of midfielder he is with his stats and, of course, the type of goals that he will score. Look, he's not going to score loads of goals. We know that he is a kind of like a solid player who can fill in over the right-hand side, but predominantly he's going to be used in certain midfields. What will he bring, of course? Uh, he can chip in the odd two or three goals per season, but that's not what he's known for. Of course, we know he's an Irish international. 28 is a good age. And I think the club and Steve Bruce obviously talked about this with uh, Nabil Bentaleb, is that he didn't fancy him. And, and let's be honest, Nabil Bentaleb was absolutely appalling. Um, Sam's a massive fan, aren't you, Sam? Um, but if you don't like Nabil Bentaleb, please uh, give that video a like, agree with us, uh, that the right decision was to fire him across back to Schalke. But uh, yeah, the less said about him, the better with his wages and the price. But we brought in a freebie. Now that doesn't surprise us, of course, we're now that. Newcastle aren't going to spend much money. Shock. However, um, it's a solid signing. Look, I'm not excited by it. And if you are, then you probably need your head tested a little bit because it's not going to excite fans. However, I think what will be um, good for our centre midfield is that when Shelby, if Shelby and Hayden don't, because for me, they're the first uh, two choices for me. If they're not fit, you're probably looking at Sean Jeff Hendrick and Matty because obviously Matty's going to be staying now from what it looks like which is great you might have already signed it signed this deal by this time the video goes out but anyways that's five centre midfielders and of course injuries rotation suspension will come in especially with the Premier League trying to condense the fixtures down because we're starting on September the 12th instead of normally a month earlier so there'll be a lot of places to, uh, to play for um look it's, it's an all right signing He's not going to make with first eleven better, but you might make with bench slightly better. Is he any better than Bent Leb? Yes. Is he better than Key? Debatable, questionable, possibly. Maybe maybe marginally. Uh, but you can fill in as I touch upon on the right hand side. But we're going to read out a couple of statements. Of course, I want to know what you lot think as well in the comments. It'll be interesting to see what you think. Give us a rating. That's what I want from you. Out of ten, if you think about it, he's 28, Irish International, he's been signed on a freebie. How much would you rate the signing? Let me know in the comments down there below. I'm going to score it a six. I think it's a just above average signing, considering we're not paying a fee. I think we haven't got much to lose. Let me know. Right, let's read out some statements. It's a massive club. I'm playing over the years, going to the stadium. It's one of the best stadiums to play in. So I just want to get playing there. I've had over 100 games in the Premier League, but I want to keep going and keep improving with a different team. It's going to be different for me. The demands with a bigger stadium, the crowd, and how big the club is. So I've got to take that on and keep pushing myself and striving to get better. I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait. As Steve Bruce said about Hendrik, Jeff is someone I've admired for a long time. I've watched him when he was at Derby. Then he went to Burnley for a lot of money and I couldn't afford him. So I missed out then. He's an experienced international footballer who can play across the midfield. So we'll welcome him aboard. He'll be a big asset to us on and off the pitch. He's a great pro, down to earth, and at the age of 28, it's a wonderful time to get to know somebody. It is at the peak of his career. He's already a fit boy who's played over 122 times in the Premier League for Burnley over the last four years, and I'm sure he'll be a great addition to the squad. So those were the statements uh, coming up on Newcastle Fans TV. Uh, we've got Matt's video with the loan report, of course, uh, Matty Longstaff's contract extension if it's not already out uh, sam's doing that video and of course we've got a friendly remember on tuesday and i'll be breaking that down for you and what the, what the two sides were because bruce has hinted already that there's going to be one side in the first half and the second side is going to be a completely different second half sorry is going to be a totally different side sorry it's one o'clock in the morning 
give us a give us a break give us a break um but yes that is it uh that is it for you uh please like the video that does help us uh if you want to join our membership program where me and sam are predominantly running that well it's mostly me to be honest but i'm trying to get the most of the rest of the lads involved so you can see more and more of our stuff uh, which you'll see it first hand you can see what we're up to you can see the videos before anybody else and there's three different levels the gold you get everything silver you get most of it bronze you get some of it so there we go